This is Global Tel Link. You have a collect call from Harry Thompson. An inmate at the California State Prison, Los Angeles County, Lancaster, California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Please hold. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me. A oh, on the line I have Perry Thompson, author of Striving to Be a Failure. This book gives a raw, unfiltered look into the reality of gangs. This book was written with the hopes that it reveals the true destructive nature of gangs and deter young people from joining gangs. The gang story in the book are true, horrible, and disturbing. This was done deliberately as the author wants to show our youth precisely what the gang lifestyle is truly about. Death, prison, and betrayal. Now, before we talk about your book, uh, uh, tell everybody out there uh, how much time you're serving. I'm serving 50 years to life. I have um, been incarcerated since I was 17 years old. I'm 32 years old, and I'm incarcerated for first to do murder. What made you write this book? Well, you know, I'm um, tired of seeing our young people, uh, you know, take each other's lives out there. You know, I'm... I come from the, you know, gang culture. I, I grew up in the, the gang culture, and, you know, as I sit in prison and, you know, watch life go on without me, and I see young people coming through here. I see young people on TV dying, and the murderer comes to prison. And, you know, this cycle, it starts you know, to bother me, especially that I know it played a role. I played a role in it at one point. So, you know, that inspired me to, you know, write this kid this book to try to deter our young people from, you know, following in my footsteps, you know. And I also wrote it because, you know, I am, I'm very um, regretful and remorseful for what I've done. You know, I took a young man's life in honor, you know, of a, of a gang that, you know, wasn't doing nothing but, you know, tearing down our community. And you feel me? I feel, you know, it is the least I could do to try to, you know, show, you know, I'm truly sorry for what I've done. And, you know, at the same time, it's going to help many young people know precisely what's going on, you know. All out there want to join gangs and, you know, destroy their lives. And the title of my book is you know, exactly where it's compared to, you know, jail cells and coffee. And, you know, that's motivated me to write this book. I get kind of emotional when I think about it because it, it touches home for me how I'd have lost so many family members people who I grew up with in the community to the same lifestyle is just like I, I can only do so much in this book is you know from where I'm at it, it's, the, it's the most I can do is put it on paper and hopefully you know, deter somebody you know, falling in my footsteps and you know, destroying someone else's life in their own life. What year did you get locked up? Uh, 2005. Okay. So you've been down about 16 now. Wh- where did you grow up? I grew up in uh, I grew up in South Central Los Angeles. Um, I grew up in uh, a household uh, environment where gangs and extra criminal lifestyle was, you know, it was like somewhat normalized. Like, not somewhat; it was normalized. And you know, about twelve years old, being in that environment, I, I ended up joining the gang. I was out there doing all the things I wasn't supposed to do. I feel, you know, describing to be a failure, the title of my book. And, you know, at 17 years old, when I there, took someone's life. And I'm uh, paying the consequences for it right now. How were you when you got put on? I was 12 years old. 12. If you could talk to a 12-year-old you right now, what, what would you say to him? Oh, man, I would tell him, man, don't, don't, what are you doing, man? You, this is the, the first step to, you know, the, the, the worst regret that you're going to uh, make in your uh, life, you know. What you're doing is it's not going to get you anywhere. You know, you're not going to gain anything out of it. You think you're going to join this gang and, and become someone. Really, all you're about to go do is destroy your life and destroy your community and to break your mama's heart. You know, and that's one of the big things that 
a lot of birds don't. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. A lot of birds don't know, you know, pay attention to when we decide to join these gangs and go out here and, you know, destroy our lives or get killed or go to prison for life. You know, the toll that it takes on our parents, you know. Like, I, I, every day that I wake up in here, I know that, you know, it's killing my mom. And if I could talk to 12-year-old Perry, that's what I tell him, man. You, you know you're going to see your mom through hell, man. Go get put on that game, and you're going to see your mom through hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. That's what I tell him, man. It's just sad, man. It makes me emotional when I talk about it. I completely understand, I homie. People, they have no, they have no clue. I have no clue when they join those gangs, the result, the end result. And that is the big picture I want to come up with. You know, the end result is going to be the, the subtitle, jail cells and cough. Who care how big or bad gang banger you think you're going to be? You ain't going to get nothing about it, but you're just going to hurt yourself, your community. Uh, One of the big statements of your book is joining a gang is the first step to striving to be a failure. Why that tagline? Right here, man, because that, that's exactly what it is, man. From the moment you go get put on that game, that same day, it's going to instruct you to likely go harm another person, go do something to another person, you know, start your stride towards failure. You know, because you get put on this game, going to do something to someone, or going to call, put in work or sell some drugs, the first step to, you know, your downfall. Striving to be a failure is is just clear cut. Now that, you know, I've been through it, I know. When I got put on that game that day, I was the first step to where I'm at right now. You know, I I hate to say it, but I'm failing right now. Sitting in prison, life sinking, you know, every day waking up, hoping, you know, something turns out, a new law class, something, um, short with small books, Trying to figure out a way to get out of prison, and it's like, and it all started from that day. And I decided to join that gang. Now look at, it. I'm sitting here. You know, I see people in here, 80, been down 40 years, they never getting out. My cellmate, he just got blessed. He's been down 29 years. He never thought he was going to walk out of prison. Mm. So he, he's another one that said it. Man, from the moment I got put on the gang, man, it, it destroyed my life. You know, that is good at a concert pain. Kids out there, you know, think it's it's a stripe, it's cool, it's it's the thing to do to get arrested, go in and out of CYA or jail or, you know, juvie hall and and eventually to prison. What would you want to say to those kids? Yeah, I, I, I used to be, uh, you know, I used to, I used to think, uh, you know, this stuff was cool. So, uh, you know, been in here all 16 years now, and I, I started in juvenile hall went to county jail and they're coming to prison. It's just, it's like, ain't, ain't nothing uh, cool about this, ain't nothing fun about this. And once you become a man and you, and you sit down in here and you, you understand, like, all that was like nothing. I was out here wasting my life, like, trying to prove myself to people who really didn't care about me. And everything they was telling me to do was destroying myself, was destroying my community, my family. And now that I'm older, I understand, like, man, I was striving to be a failure the whole time. And, you know, anyone that thinks coming to jail is going to be cool up here, like I say, I don't know nobody that's in here, that's been in here for a while, that thinks this cool. Everybody is trying to figure out a way to get out. And the ones that, that come in here and, and educate ourselves, we understand, like, man, this all for nothing, like, like me, man, I've, when I've done very little in my life. I came to prison at 17. I've never been out of the state of California. I've never been out, other than when I went to prison, I've never been out of the county of Los Angeles. Mm. And uh, just that little thing, like, I haven't even had an opportunity to live life. I look on TV, I see all this big world out there. Literally, my door is locked. It ain't coming open. No, and as of right now, I have a life sentence. These people ain't playing. And it's all fun and games still, you know, even me. When I first got sentenced to 50 years of life, I thought it was a game. Mm. Then they 
sent me to Pelican Bay, and I wasn't in Pelican Bay for a few months, and my head was busted open, and I'm in the hospital, and things got real, real fast, and then years start going by, and I'm like, whoa. Then I start looking at all these other dudes around here, and they're like, man, look at this, man. They gonna really keep you in here for the rest of your life, man, if you gonna straighten up. So, the young people out there that think it's the game, I hope you hear me, man. If you end up in one of these prisons, you're going to understand very soon that it, it, it is not a game and this ain't no where you want to. you trying to earn stripes to, to get here, and I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. Now, this is, I'm not trying to earn to get here. That's, that's literally what we did. We subscribed to come to prison. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. You know, right away in the face. Watch your life go on without me. I do it every day. And, you know, I pray to God one day, you know, they open up the gate. Guys, right now, I have what we call a kickstand on the back of my senses. I mean, as of the day, I'm scheduled to die in here. Mm. Any of you young people that think that's cool or you want to go out there and get a strike to do life in prison, you're going to regret it. I promise you. And the stories in your book, you specifically made them graphic. You know, horrible in nature, disturbing. Talk about why you did that. Well, I did that, you know, to, I wanted to let them know what it is. You know, it ain't no sugarcoating. And I, I believe that has a lot to do with what's going on in our community. Um, a lot of sugarcoating. You know, nobody's telling the truth. You know, nobody's putting it out there. I said, this is what's going on, you know. The same dudes that you can pick up a gun and go shoot somebody for it same dude that's going to shoot you or rob you or kill you and it's just another day in the gang it, it, you know and I want them to know like look if you decide the thing it, this is what it is it, it, it's not a game you know you know I, I told myself I wasn't going to hold back some people told me oh man you ain't going to be able to get that book out there to our youth because you've been too too graphic too raw I told myself man I'm, and they need to hear this man they need to hear it, how it is, what it is, and let them make a, a, a conscious decision of exactly what they're getting involved with. You are the epitome, and your story is the epitome of why I started my channel. Because uh, I want the kids to make a decision. Is this something that they really want to do when they hear stories like yours? So I, I really appreciate you, um, you know, sharing your story. Do you have any uh, anything else in the works, any other books coming up? probably always writing. I'm not, man. I'm just, I'm just working on this one right now. Mm -hmm. Eventually down the line, I'm, I'm going to come, um, I'm going to write a book called uh, Trying to Remain Elite Amongst the Failures. And I'm going to talk about all... You have 60 seconds remaining. I'm going to talk about all the things that I did to earn the respect of the failure. I'm going to show how got me nowhere in life. That, that's going to be my next project. Right now, I'm focusing on getting this one out there to our youth, and I truly appreciate you and this opportunity. Thank you. Perry Thompson, Striving to Be a Failure. I encourage everybody out there to pick this book up. I'm personally going to buy one myself within the next 24 hours, and I once again encourage everybody out there. Where's the best place that they could buy it to where you see the, you know, the most return, the best profit or whatever? Amazon. Amazon. There it is.